So the Being Human Festival is the UK's only national festival of the humanities. The main reason we exist is to take all of the fantastic work outside of the academy and take it to non-academic audiences. Together with our colleagues at the Institute of Physics, we decided to put together an event that talks about both the science that goes into preparing the foods that we eat and the liquids that we drink, and understanding the processes that go on in our brains and our senses when we're responding to those foods. So gastrophysics looks like the perfect way to take an everyday experience and reveal how many disciplines we might need to look at. Food is the best way I've ever found to get people really interested in physics in general and science because everybody likes food. And if you can use your science knowledge to make food that people can't really believe it's that good, then that really, really works. The, the old ice cream, so shaking that with the salt and ice, I think that was really cool. Uh, yeah, actually all of it really, but it, that, I should say the drinks, but ice cream. Food is something that we all experience. And so it's a good opportunity for us to link what people may not experience, their um, understanding of how the physics of things work, but with something that they do understand. We've made some ice cream with cream and milk, and in this case it was a limoncello ice cream. Um, and we've also got a type of chocolate that I was very mean and nasty to, to show what happens when you're mean and nasty to chocolate. And then a form of chocolate that's been moulded into very thin shapes to show what effect that has on your experience of the chocolate. I was originally trained as a chef, um, worked in several Michelin star restaurants, then started working with the cross-modal uh, research laboratory on understanding how the senses make flavour perception and trying to use that to design uh, more sustainable foods of the future. Uh, exploring the future of cutlery, a project with a photographer to trying to make people rethink the edible potential of foods. Could you describe tonight in three words? Exciting, surprising and I hope full of flavour.